Now, let's talk about the cons of marrying a younger man. One, people will judge you. People judge me. People judge us. Like, oh, I'm, I was desperate. My biological clock was taken. I was desperate to get married and have children. God knows what. So just expect that people will judge you. And the thing is, people will always judge. Even if if your husband is one year older than you, people will judge you. As long as one year younger than you, people will judge you. Your husband is a widower. People will judge. If your husband is 10 years older than you, people will still judge. We, we see it every day. That people will ask people, how come you married this man that is 10 years older than you? Or oh, this man is, he he's manipulating you. Or pe pe people always have something to say about relationships that they know nothing about. So people will judge. That's standard. But are you going to listen, listen to what everybody's saying and use that to make a decision? No, you're not going to do that. You're going to focus on your relationship. You shut out the noise and do what's best for you. Then some, some I saw on some social media where people say their husbands or they married a younger person or they dated a younger person and when they argue, the person insulted them with their age. So they say the younger man would insult you with your age when you argue. I've never experienced that. My husband and I would keep them calling out of our relationship. We can argue, we can... Yes, normal argument that people have, normal couples have. But we make sure we keep name calling out of it. And when you start name calling the relationship, you know that something is wrong. Something is really wrong. And you guys need to fix that or you just need to move apart because that's a toxic relationship. You can't be in a relationship and you argue and, and, the, and, the, and your younger partner calls you an old woman or you call him a baby because he's younger than you. It doesn't make any sense. So I think you guys are not meant to be together. You should just move apart or you get relationship counseling. Another thing you should expect is that your girlfriends will tease you. <laughs> A friend of mine used to tease me about it and she would be like, oh, how's the sugar boy? And like, I'm a sugar mommy. And we just laugh about it. So as long as nobody's putting your husband down, nobody's belittling your husband, then you can just joke about it and move on. Then some ladies say a younger man would need mothering. But I'll argue that that's just, that's untrue. It's not true. Man children come in all ages. Just because a man is younger, younger than you does not mean he will be a man child. Some people that complain that their husbands act like children, if you find out some of, these some of these husbands are older than the wives. So let's not just sit here and act like, like man children are only younger men. They are older men that, that, <laughs> that, that act like children, at least from their wife's perspective. I don't know. And another thing is some women attract man children. At first, it's cute when they do everything. I'm not saying I'm not saying you shouldn't cater to your partner. Cater to your partner, cook, eat, whatever you guys do, whatever you like to do in your relationship. But but when you take on all the house chores, you take on all the responsibilities, like maybe taking taking maybe paying bills, taking your kids to school, cooking doing laundry you just take all you take on all these things and most of the time you do it because you feel like he cannot do those things you've already told yourself that oh because he's a man he doesn't know how to do this thing. i'm the mother i'm the almighty mother i know how to do everything that's when stuff like this happens and some 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 men were not even taught to do these things and some men were taught but because their wives have made them feel like they don't they cannot do it they just sit back they sit back not because they don't want to do, but because you showed that you are the almighty mother that can do everything. And then they sit back and then you start burning out. Of which, that's even beside the point. Some women also, they like this idea of, of catering and catering and catering and, and, then, and, and, then, and they say it's cute. Like, oh, what will you do without me? Or you, you go, maybe you go out to your friends and you're just thinking, oh, well, what is it doing? How oh, is it is it okay? It's fine to think about your partner, it's fine to care about your partner. But when you start worrying like your partner is your child, like when I go out, I miss my kids. Like, are they okay? Are they okay? I know that I know that they are fine, they're with their dad, but I just kind of miss them because it's something that mothers do. But when but when when I'm out, I'm not thinking about Oh, my husband, is he going to pass out because I'm not there? Is he going to faint? Oh, my goodness. Oh, he cannot get food from the fridge. Oh, he... No, I don't think about that. That's mothering. So 
that's what I'm talking about. And men that that women, mother, or let's say man children, man children come in all ages. I've seen older men that don't turn up after themselves. They eat and they get up and walk away. And it's not because they cannot. Sometimes, yes, maybe their parents do not teach them because some women just cater and cater and cater to their children. And those children grow into men that end up with wives that keep catering and catering and catering. So some, so some of these men were not taught, and, some, and also some of them, their wives th thought they were pampering them and they overdid this whole cleaning up after them to the point that meant that some husbands or some partners would leave clothes on the floor and the other partner has to pick them up. So it don't, has nothing to do with age. That's my point. That come about marrying a man younger than you, that like he might not be financially stable. I'm talking about this from my own situation, my story. So, my husband was in grad school. As I mentioned it before. I was working nine to five, so he didn't he didn't have extra resources to spoil me and do all that. But we supported each other. He finished his program, and then he got he got his first job. He was doing okay. It was just some it was just an average job. He was doing okay. And after a while, he got a better job and we moved into a bigger apartment and our lives changed a lot. <laughs> well, until, until we came to the US and started from scratch all over. So, a younger man might not be financially secure, but things can work out for, for him with time. And if, but if he doesn't have any plans to improve himself, maybe the kind of guy that just sits at home and says, Oh, until I get this job that pays this, this, this amount, I'm not going to work. I don't want a job that pays 40k a year. I don't want a job that pays 50k, 30k. Well, I don't want any job. I'm waiting, I'm waiting for that job that pays 100k. If not, he's just going to stay at home and be eating off your hard work. Then that's not the that's not the that's not the young man. That's not the one I'm talking about. This person is not financially okay. This person is. This person is not ready to do anything for themselves. So that's not the man I'm talking about. I'm talking about a younger man that has plans to improve himself. Then another thing that people throw around a lot is, I think maybe they, maybe they do this to feed on women, to, to feed women's insecurities. I heard a lot, like a younger man will leave you for a younger woman. People said it too about me, like he will leave you for a younger woman, but you know that if, even people where the if, even marriages you know that even marriages where the man is older if the marriage is going to end in divorce it's still going to end in divorce so the, throwing this thing around that younger men will leave their their wives for for a lady that is younger than their wives doesn't make doesn't make any sense even men that are married to women in the same age group or their age mates or something if they want to leave their wives for a younger woman, they still do it. A lot of marriages will end in divorce. So are we going to, are we going to sit, sit here and say all the marriages are, end, are ended in divorce was because the man was younger? So it doesn't, it doesn't have, it doesn't make any sense. Any marriage that will end, will end. It doesn't matter. If, if, a, man want, if a man wants to leave, he will leave. It doesn't matter how old, how young, how beautiful you are. That, that's why sometimes when a man leaves his wife, like, oh, but his wife is so beautiful. Or when a man sits his wife, like, oh, but his wife is so beautiful. Like, what happened? What, what is he looking for? So you see that it has nothing to do, it has nothing to do with age. And there are so many things that adds up that make that makes a relationship feel. Age, age, in my opinion, has nothing to do with it. Maybe it's part of it for people that think like that, but there are so many things that add up that makes a relationship feel. So, yeah. I'm say 20 something year old guy will be naive, he'll play video games, he'll be dirty and, and irresponsible. But even men, some men that are older than their wives, still do these same things. Besides, men playing video games don't mean that they're irresponsible. It's when it gets to the point where a man plays video games more than spending time with his family. Like, you maybe he, maybe he just neglects his family, doesn't have dinner with his family, misses hospital appointments or important things about the kids because he's so engrossed in that video game. That's why you can say, well, this person is responsible. But a husband that just plays video games just to pass time, 
that's fine. But then again, there are people that play video games and just get dirty and make a mess around themselves and their, their partner has to keep cleaning up and cleaning up and cleaning up. Those people come in, in, in every age, in every age bracket or every age group. So let's not just sit and say, oh, because this person, this guy is 20 something. He's, this is what he's going to do because he plays video games or because he plays because he plays video games he's going to be irresponsible and dirty and not clean up after himself after himself as one plays video games maybe that's why i take this personally he plays video games and when it comes to the kids hospital appointment when it comes to meeting in the kids schools he's he's always there like he's on top of it he, also, he doesn't he, he doesn't just leave a mess around him. For goodness sake, the guy does laundry. So what are we talking about? I'm older than him, but never done laundry since we got married. So also, when your husband plays video games, when your husband plays video games to relax, you can just let him be. Like people have hobbies, let him have his hobby. And when he's doing that, you should find something you enjoy. Like. If I'm not interested in watching my husband play a video game, I play on my phone or I read a book or I take a nap. Take that time and do something else for you and do something for yourself. Let's stop pinpointing and picking what our partners do because they're not focusing on us. We are one whole, we are one whole person. Your husband is one whole person. Your partner is one whole person. Let that let them exist and do what they love for fun. And then later on you guys can come back and continue being all whatever but it doesn't mean you're out of their heads but just just let your partner enjoy their hobbies and you enjoy your own hobbies too so to round this video up marrying a younger man is it good or bad if you ask me <laughs> like i said one of the best decisions i ever made in my life i met guys who were older than me but none of them asked to marry me i met then i met him i always knew him and he asked me out and i said yes and this and i've been very happy since i gave him a chance so if you meet a guy you like and he's younger than you if you cannot look past the age just leave him and let him go but once you look past the age and you know that this is someone that that respects you that takes care of you that considers you when they make decisions you always have to you ha always have to think about that person if they are good to you are they good to you are they kind to you that's what you think about yes you have to be attracted to them but think about are they kind to you that's what's important and if that person has plans that person has dreams for their future yes you can go ahead and date them marry them whatever and once you make that decision to date or to marry a younger man you have to learn how to shut out noise you have to learn to keep people out so you can build a good relationship that's all i have to say for this video if you like it please like it are you married to a younger man what has your experience been like or did the relationship end because he's younger or what what has what has your experience been like can you share with us please share please share your tips what maybe things you do to keep your relationship fun and all that please share your tips and let's talk let's discuss in the comments thanks for watching i'm brie and i'll see you next time bye